Phew! Finally! So, what are your plans now? Hmm, I doubt he's at the inn. Oh, Mikleo? But he said he would wait for us back at the inn when he left. So, the ruins below spread out all over the place, right? If that's the case, I'll bet Mikleo went off to search for another entrance. One that's not this one. Huh? You mean Mikleo went into the ruins alone? How dangerous, how downright reckless of him! The Hellions here are spreading like wildfire! You just saw firsthand what a force they are to be reckoned with! How can you be so calm when your friend is in peril like this? He'll be fine. I know he's not the type to let his guard down when he's faced with real danger. And I'm sure he knows full well that he has no ability to purify the Hellions all by himself. Don't worry. <laughs> you really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Well, it's a love-hate sort of thing. I see. So Mikleo has a sort of rivalry going on with you, and thus he went alone to search for the ruins rather than return to the inn. But you're sure he wouldn't do anything dangerous by himself. So then... What are your plans now, Saray? Man, you sure have a mean streak, you know that? Oh, do I? But anyways, first I have to return this to Alicia. Oh, the knife you used to open the door. We found this at the ruins, where I first met her. It was probably handed down by the royal family. I'm sure it's very important. Before I begin my duty as a shepherd, I feel like I should return it. Indeed. Lila, you had something else to tell me, right? About what it is to be the Shepherd. I'd like to hear the rest of what you had to say. Uh, it's true, I do. But first, to that same end, there are things I would like to ask Alicia as well. Perfect. Let's head over to her manor then. We might find Miklio as well. Oh, yeah. He'll probably give up and wander back any time now. <laughs> now that would be perfect. Boy, I knew you had a mean streak. So you made it out okay! You really saved my butt back there. Thanks so much! Oh, nah. It was nothing, really. We owe you our thanks as well. When this guy went missing, we thought he'd just up and gone home already. Whoa, now! Hang on a second! Aren't you the Shepherd? That outfit fits the description in all the rumors to a T! Well... <laughs> Uh... For real? This is the guy that pulled the sword? <laughs> I figured you were something special, but this is more than I even bargained for. Gotta thank you proper for saving me. Wanna get some grub later? <laughs> to think I'd become buds with the great shepherd himself! My wife and kid are gonna scream the roof off when they hear this. Well, uh, I don't know if... Things must be tough, but hang in there. We'll be cheering you on. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. He's the one who removed the sacred... Great. See you soon, Shepard. They certainly were a lively bunch. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Everyone back home in Alicia is a little more relaxed. You spent your whole life in the village of the Seraphim, right? With no other humans around for miles. Until I met Alicia. I see.
that? We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the Chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. Please, do all you can to help Alicia. She could use the support of a good friend. Yes, of course. Uh. Wow, I gotta say, she's totally got it together. I know, right? My dream is to be as cool as her. Let's walk while we chat. You were investigating the ruins, correct? Well, yes, that's true. This is for you. My knife! Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa! but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait! Did you just...? I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite the surprise. Hello? Uh. I see. So it won't be that easy just yet. Lila? I'll explain things, but first, take her hand again. Lila says she'll explain. Can you give me your hand again? Sure. Hello, Alicia? Can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Loud and clear. I haven't even held my breath yet. At this point, you've grown much more accustomed to my power, to the extent that you can now do what you did before without dulling your other senses. I don't feel any different, though. That's good news. It means you don't have to go through all that hassle anymore to make her voice carry. <laughs> it was fun in a way. But good riddance. <clears throat> All right. Very well, then. Shall we begin? All right. Lila needed to talk with you about something. With me? I would ask that you lend us your power, so that we may find the vessels and the lords of the land. May I... 
ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the Malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no Malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gained the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the Malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the shepherd purifies the malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the lord of the land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way. However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. She's gone already. She's probably heading over to the sanctuary. She's quite the tomboy, that Alicia. Is that a monolith? It looks like Father Brunor is out around town on an errand. So it goes. Any clue as to the vessel, at least? Let's see. Something free of malevolence. In the Galahad ruins north of here, there's a pure and clean waterfall. The kings of Highland traditionally bathe in its pristine holy water before their coronation ceremonies. Water of utmost purity. That does sound like something that could be a vessel for a seraph. Is something wrong? Beasts have taken up residence in the ruins of late. Whatever was there was strong enough to kill all ten soldiers who came to drive them out. Hellions? Likely. If we don't hurry, then the waterfall could be corrupted by the malevolence. I take it that's not all, is it? The malevolence is strong in Lady Lake. The holy water will absorb its influence before we have a chance to enshrine and worship it. 
Water in particular is delicate and easily corrupted by malevolence. No way. Is there anything we can do? Of course there is. But in that case, we will need the cooperation of a Seraph of Water. As a Fire Seraph, I'm afraid I am wholly mismatched. A Water Seraph, huh? Yes. <sighs> By the way, whatever became of Miklio? I haven't heard his voice yet. We... sort of... had a fight. It's a long story. Anyway, to the Galahad Ruins! There's Hellions to smack! That's true. Let's do what we can, first and foremost. Saray, please let me accompany you. I would, but you don't have the power to battle Hellions. But... Saray, just as the Prime Lord can have Sublords, so too can there be Squires to the Shepherd. If Alicia becomes your squire, she can fight against the Hallians as long as she is within your domain. My squire? But... This sanctuary... No, make that all of the sanctuaries in Highland. They have always been like this from the time I was born. A Highland overrun with malevolence is the only Highland I've ever known. I beg of you, Saray. Please, take me as your squire. So that I may see my homeland free of malevolence. Just like you'd always dreamed of. As you wish, Alicia. <laughs> so then, how does this work? After my incantation, give unto Alicia a true name in the ancient tongue. Let's see. A true name for Alicia. A new bud forms on the holy branch. Its flowers bring fruit. Its fruit begets seeds. The circle of destiny turns once more. Give life unto the will of the shepherd, and let it be proof of their bond. Thy true name as a squire shall be... Melphis Omechia! Happy to be your squire, Saray. Happy to have one, Alicia. <laughs>